Hello and welcome to K vlog number nine. Hold on, let's play teacher. Hello and welcome to K vlog number nine. As usual for those K vlogs, they're not at all recorded in Klagenfurt or Corinthia. I am once again in Vienna. I'm currently living at a friend's place who is not here, and at the moment the entire shared flat, all of the people are just gone. Which is nice for me, because I have a whole VG for myself. It's a, quite a nice and big flat in a very nice area of Vienna. I really enjoy the 18th district, like it's up the hill, the air is quite nice. I mean there are not a lot of cycling paths, but on the side streets there are not many cars. So it's, it's actually very nice here, I, I enjoy that area much more than any of the other areas in Vienna and it's nice and quiet so if I were to move to Vienna this district would be cool but it's you know where the rich people live so everything is more expensive here so also getting a flat here would be more expensive of course so I've been in Vienna for another 10 days now and things change as they usually do <laughs> so Originally, I came to Vienna to do the sports exam and the preparation course for it. And I did do the preparation course. I mean, I'm still on it. I, I mean, this, this thing here is proof because you need to wear your colored band. Because of COVID, they put us into groups and only if you have the correct color wristband, you are allowed to be in that group. And train with them and that's still going on today is Sunday it's still continuing Monday and Tuesday and then on Thursday the exam would start must admit that physically I'm actually quite good considering that I did a week of sports I just feel it a little bit in my legs here in my calves and I have a bit of injuries on my on my hands but here I already feel that my hands are getting stronger you know, from the climbing and the, the rec exercises. And that's good because I would need that for the exam. However, I'm not gonna do the exam. There is a whole separate video about the whole preparation course. So I don't wanna go into much detail there. But long story short, I didn't register for the study in time. And uh, now I can't even do the exam. And I actually found that out even before the preparation course started. So I've been on a date with someone from Hinge. And <laughs> she studies teacher education. And when I told her that I might want to study sports in teacher's education, she was like, ooh, did you do the test? And I was like, what test? Oh, there is a test. And I'm like, but maybe it doesn't happen this year and then I googled it and it doesn't happen this year however there is also a deadline for when you need to apply to be able to study teachers education a deadline I missed so it looks like I will not be able to study what I wanted to study and I figured out that there was an actually other exam to in order to, to study teacher's education because usually there's an exam but it doesn't happen this year but then there's a registration deadline that I missed. Anyhow, we're, I'm already far over this. I already decided not to study at all this semester because let's be honest I would just take somebody else's spot and uh, I should do something proper and not study. Let's do something else. Let's do something that is you know more appropriate for my age. Like actually working a job or something. We talked about the, the sports thing and uh, that's basically over with tomorrow. I, I don't think I'll go there on, on, on Tuesday. Tomorrow there's still swimming exercises, like swim training and I like that. I really enjoy swimming. That's one of the things that I figured out that I really enjoy swimming. That was one of the things where I'm like, oh, it's so great to swim. I like swimming, I actually enjoy it lately that's new yeah because i don't i did i didn't know that i liked swimming i never swam like i did so many uzi courses but none of them were about swimming because i thought i just don't uh, swimming you just go back and forth on the, in the that's boring right it, it seemed so boring but when i was in there swim doing the swimming I, I i really enjoyed it which is 
interesting. But yeah, you uh, don't stop learning about yourself. Another thing that I realized pretty soon after I came to Vienna, I realized that there is one big thing missing for me. So I've been in Vienna for four nights now. Again, I quite like it here, especially the place I'm in. There's one thing that I obviously miss, and that is music. Both consuming and producing. Because I don't have a sound system here, I have to listen to music with my laptop and the speakers are really bad. The phone speakers are better, but they're also not particularly good. And then also, I kind of miss my loop station. I was listening to songs and I'm like, oh, I can try and cover that. I should totally do that. And I have the time to do that now. So I wanted to just loop, but I don't have my RC505 with me. Or just singing, I just want to sing. Or play the guitar, or do something with music. I, I really, I really want to do something with music now. But that's an interesting observation, that music really is that big of a deal to me. So I'm really missing the opportunity to make music. And also listen to music. So, right now, I want to go back home to Klagenfurt because my loop station is there. And that's weird. So apparently I always want the thing that I don't have, right? So if I'm in Klagenfurt, I want to go to Vienna. And if I'm in Vienna, I want to go back to Klagenfurt. It's, this is the, this is the classic. Classic, I always want what I don't currently have. Every time. So apparently I want change. I, I want I want stuff to be different. I mean that could also be the reason I, I want change or I want to travel. Maybe that's it. Maybe I want to be at a different place all the time. Overall I do feel good here in Vienna. Like I like the city. I mean Vienna is pretty cool. We'll just walk around, bump into a concert by Virginia Ernst. Can come sit here. It's pretty sweet. I love it. I mean, it's a bit far away and I can't dance. I mean, I'm bound to this table. But still, it's a live concert. It's pretty nice. I'm just a red player, oh yeah. I'm just a red player. I'm just a red But also, it's not that I really want to move here, right? It's just, it's an okay city. It's not like I, I really want to move here, right? It's, I don't know. It's just, it just is. Vienna just is. And uh, I can't see myself living here if I had a reason to do that. But without a reason, I don't think I'm gonna just move to Vienna to live in Vienna. Because why would I pay for a flat here? It's not as expensive as Munich. But it is more expensive than other Austrian cities and definitely more expensive than living with my parents, which is what I'm currently doing. <laughs> and the problem is, like, the reason why I don't like Klagenfurt is that there is nothing happening here. I always say there's nothing happening in Klagenfurt because it's such a small city. Thing is, there might be more stuff happening in Vienna, but I don't know about it. And if I don't know about it, then it's like nothing is happening. So I feel like there's nothing happening in Vienna. Simply because I'm just not aware of the stuff that is happening. And yesterday I wanted to go dance and I couldn't. I came down here, chilled in the park for an hour, waited for that event to start. Thing is, I, I mean, I would have loved to dance Lindy Hop. Thing is, they restructured the event such that they only allow people to come in pairs and then they're only allowed to dance in pairs. And since I'm here alone, well, can't dance in the hub with my own. <sighs> that was discouraging. And since I don't really know anyone in Vienna anymore, except those people who live in that flat, who are currently not here, I don't even have anyone to tell me what's going on and what I could do and to do stuff with, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling as lonely here as I do in Klagenfurt. And that's why I want to go back to Klagenfurt, because at least there I have my loop station. As soon as I'm in Klagenfurt, I'm gonna say, I want to go back to Vienna, because there I have the potential to meet other people. But, 
Yeah. And I would like to form a band here in Vienna. So I kind of would like to move to Vienna with all my stuff because then I can make music here. But therefore I need my own flat and I don't want to just pointlessly pay for a flat here in Vienna if I don't have a job yet. Now, speaking of jobs though, this is a very interesting and uh, important, nah, maybe not important, but for me super interesting realization that I had a few days back or yesterday, I don't remember. I actually, get this, miss working. That's the first time ever that I had this thought. I was thinking back to when I was working at TNG and I was like, you know, actually it wasn't that bad. It's true, it really wasn't that bad. It was a nice job that I had. I was just getting overwhelmed with it, right? But it is true that I really enjoyed some aspects of that work. I really enjoyed going to the office and being there because I kind of had that feeling of, you know, being part of something, achieving something. Even though the broader vision I didn't agree with, you know, that company that I worked for, in the end I was like, well, I mean, might as well not do that, doesn't really make much of a difference. But at least in the company I felt good. Like I. I enjoyed being part of Team G and that feeling I'm missing right now. And that is something that I want to have back. I want to be able to go to work in the morning. Cause that at least, it gives some purpose, even if it's not my ideal thing what I want to do with my life, it gave me some direction and I miss that now. So I actually applied for another 40 hour job. I apply. I applied at another software consultancy here in Vienna because if I were given the chance to go back to TNG now, even with everything being the same as when I left, you know, me being in the same project, I think at that point I would say yes, I will gladly do that. And that is an interesting thought, and in a very interesting thought, I've come that far to realize that doing nothing, well nothing, is also not at all increasing my happiness. I mean, I have way more time, so I can't complain that I don't have enough time for all my stuff, but it doesn't really change much. Because at the moment I'm more or less wasting my time with sitting in front of the computer, watching YouTube videos and Twitch streams. And lately I started trading. I started trading with Bitcoin. <laughs> Stupid. I mean, I understand nothing about trading and uh, I lost 200 euros approximately in the last week. Uh... <laughs> I lost 100 euros. Wow. But you know, I allocated some playing money for that. And uh, so it's fine. If it's gone, it's gone. Maybe the real reason behind why I want to get back into a 40 hour job or a job in general. I mean, I would still prefer 30 hours, let's be honest. But it's so hard to find something that is actually part time. By the way, I had a job interview for a part time thing. I just had a job interview with Teach Surfing. And I just today got the notification that uh, they decided uh, for somebody else. So it is highly competitive. So yeah, it is not easy to get a part-time job as a software developer. So I might as well just get a full-time job again. I mean, at least then I value my time more again. And it's really not like 40 hours is that much. I mean, at the moment I have nothing else to do, right? And that's, that's also stressing me. I don't know what's going on in Vienna. I would love to do stuff, but because of Corona, I wouldn't know what I could possibly do. And that's kind of why I'm just sitting around. I'm just sitting around all day here at home, home and waste my money on trading Bitcoin. Why? Because I have nothing else to do. So getting a job would be nice. Because then at least I have direction again and then I get to know co-workers and then they tell me what's going on and then I could potentially build a social life again, which is something that I'm lacking. I think being self-employed or not doing anything or being a YouTuber or whatever just doesn't get me where I want to be. Even if 
I would earn enough money. It doesn't. I I I kind of want to be part of something. Startups would be nice, but then again, in a consultancy you get a, a way better training. So if I were to do software development properly, then I would actually appreciate being in a consultancy. And so it's really interesting that now I want my job back. It's so conflicting in my head still. The other side of me, of course, does not want that job back. It was that was a reason why I wanted to get away from there. I did not enjoy doing that. But yeah, it all depends on the people and on the projects. The first project I actually started enjoying. I mean, in the very beginning it was tough because I was just not used to working 40 hours, but then it got better and I got really used to it. After three months, I enjoyed it there. And that is what I would like to get back. An interesting project with nice colleagues that I like to work with. That's what I want to have back. Another reason why I want a job now again is that I can get more money that I can invest in my trading or that I that I can invest to you know uh, start building passive income I don't know with dividend investing or something I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on trading and investing lately so that might be where those thoughts come from. My actions are based on my opinions and more, uh, my opinions I get from YouTube. Uh, could be dangerous. But yeah, for that you need to get some money and the easiest way to do that is with an actual job. Especially with a well-paying job. Why did I quit again? You know, then I could, you know, save up 25 to 50% of my salary and invest that and then over time I've built a portfolio that I could retire by 40 or 50 and that is something to work towards that is something that I can see myself working towards if I have that goal and I see it okay in 10 years I will have made enough money to just live off that and I don't need to work anymore then I could also push myself through, you know, working through shitty client projects that I don't enjoy. But you know, a year ago when I still had my job, this was not on my agenda, not at all. A year ago I thought, okay, I, I work and I spend the money that I get paid. And I realized that I can't even spend the money that I, that I get paid because I don't have enough time to spend the money. But, you know, that was a different problem I had. And even if that doesn't work, thinking more short term, three years, three more years that I work somewhere, after three years, I could apply as an HGL teacher. A teacher at a technical high school. Because there I need those four years of experience in my field, which is software development. And even if I wouldn't like the next job I get, I guess I could persuade myself to push through for three years because then I can quit and apply as an HDL teacher. Since the thing with the studying didn't work, the odds are now all pointing into the direction of getting a job again. And so I actually applied again at another software consultancy which seems similar to TNG from what I read. They also have what at TNG were tech days. They also seem to have some very interesting projects. And then also the exact same ones that I've been working on. The client that I was working for at the end at TNG is also a client at that company. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna tell them that I don't wanna, you know? But yeah, they, they seem to have some interesting projects and who knows, maybe I can get in, maybe I can't. My salary will probably be lower, but Vienna also I don't need to pay as much rent. So with, let's say, 5k less per year, I could potentially hopefully get in. I don't know, I haven't heard back from them, but I also applied on Friday and now it's Sunday. So I hope to hear back from them. And uh, they also have an interesting, that is complicated, application process uh, where they screen me uh, several in several ways. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I hope that they're going to do that. And uh, then we will see. Because if I have a job, then I have a reason to move to Vienna. And then I will have to get a flat. And then I will get to do all the things that I want to do here. Which is uh, make some money and uh, build a social life. Yeah. 
That's about it. That's my current plan. But you know, <laughs> a week from now it might look completely different again. That's just how my life develops at the moment. At some point I'll figure it out. I'll just keep, keep on living, keep on trying stuff and uh, eventually we'll figure it out. Also, since I've been watching Twitch and, and since I really want to go back to my loop station and I want to try so many things with the loop station, I decided I want to do just a week of Twitch streaming, trying to reach 50 followers and just make music with the guitar and the loop station, even if it's just for myself, just, just, so, I, just so I do something. I tell myself, I stream every day just so I do something. That's the next project because I do want to go back to Klagenfurt and with that I give myself the reason to do it, right? Because I can't do it here, I don't have my equipment with me, I don't have my webcam, don't have my mic, don't have my loop stations, don't have a guitar, don't have anything really. And so I'm gonna go back to Klagenfurt and stream every day for a week and we see how that goes. You know, maybe I'll become a Twitch streamer, who knows? Don't think that I really want to do that professionally, but also I do see myself doing that. As long as I still have so much time on my hands, streaming is a good option. Because streaming just takes a lot of time but is super low effort. In comparison to YouTube which is taking a lot of time and is a lot of effort. <laughs> Anyhow, that's just a quick little update from Vienna giving you a brain dump. Why do I do this? I don't know, just to, to, as, as a diary for myself. My journey is interesting to me right now and maybe my journey is interesting for me in the future. Maybe I can look back on this situation and be like, wow, I was so naive back then. Gotta find another job and uh, get some money again. <laughs> so sure we can invest in Bitcoin. I, I really need a job because then I don't have time to trade Bitcoin and lose my money. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Wish me luck for the application process and uh, I guess you will hear from me once I know more. So that was K-Vlog number 9. I hope that this is in whatever way entertaining or interesting to you. I mean, why else would you watch it? If you experience something similar or if you have similar struggles, let me know in the comments. It always feels good to know that you're not alone. And uh, yeah, then I will see you in K-Vlog number 10. Till then, bye-bye. Oh yeah, make your backup. Can't forget to say that. Hey, you cannot forget your catchphrase. Come on, make your backup.